Hello everybody and welcome back. Our Champions League group stage campaign has concluded so you'll see where we ended up finishing. Could we finish top or did we finish second? In today's episode, two absolutely huge games in the league. Manchester City, the local derby and Chelsea who start the season very, very well. But I shall quickly run you through the fixtures since the last time we met another draw in the league. This time away from home against Arsenal and to be quite honest with you, we were pretty fortunate in this game. Aubameyang had put them in front 31 minutes in. Edinson Cavani equalised almost immediately, but that's how it finished. As you can see by the expected goals, we were fortunate. Next up was the crunch game in the Champions League group stage, the second game against Juventus, and we managed to get a 2 all draw at home. Uh, Edinson Cavani with a brace and Ronaldo with a brace for them, but this pretty much all but confirmed what uh, you might already know. Back to winning ways in the league, a 3-0 home win against Newcastle, a pretty comfortable one at that. Rashford, Cavani and Tellez with the goals on this one. We had two more Champions League games left, the first of which was against Midland, which we won 4-1. We actually went 1-0 down four minutes in and it looked a little bit dodgy. We, we played a pretty heavily rotated side for this one. Daniel James, Mason Greenwood, Anthony Martial and Daniel James once again on the score sheet for a 4-1 win. And to finish off our group stage campaign, we went away from home against Krasnodar. And once again, went 1-0 down from uh, Slimani in the 59th minute. But a Marcus Rashford brace and Edinson Cavani goal secured the win. And that, of course, means we have qualified top of our group that contained Juventus. I'm absolutely thrilled by that. Our potential next round opponents, Ajax, Olympic Marseille, uh, Benfica, Chelsea, Manchester City, Salzburg, and Atletico Madrid. So we've done extremely well in the Champions League so far. We've matched the board's expectations again to the first knockout round. Let's just hope we can go a couple of more steps further than that. But that takes us to today where our first game will be against Manchester City. As you can see, they are flying high at the top of the league on 28 points. We are six points behind them, but we do have a game in hand. So let's just assume we win with three points behind them. This match is absolutely huge. We really, really could use a win. And just to keep mentioning, we are still unbeaten in all competitions. So uh, that's going pretty well. Chelsea after that, after a great start that they had, they've suffered a couple of defeats now against Liverpool. 6-0 against Liverpool and Newcastle, both away from home. Ah, it's going to be interesting. These two games could really sort of decide what sort of team we are. Are we a title challenging team or are we just a comfortable top four team? Let's find out. So for the team today, we are pretty much unchanged. Kingsley Coleman is unfortunately injured for the next week, so he won't be involved. But other than that, we've got Davide here in goal. Juan Basaka, Philippe, Maguire and Tellez in the defence. Benton Kerr, Pogba and Bruno Fernandes in the centre of the midfield. And then we've got Mason Greenwood, Rashford and Cavani as our front three. Anthony Martial and Rashford are really duking it out to see who should be in my starting eleven. Edinson Cavani is just performing too well to drop him. He scored a lot of goals, 13 goals so far this season. And he's, provide, he's proven to be Mr. Reliable. Let's submit this team and get into the game against Manchester City. Any major signs from them that I might have missed? I don't think so. Pretty standard Manchester United side. Edison, Walker, Diaz, Laporte, uh, Aki, Fernandinho, Gundogan, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Raheem Sterling, Gabriel, Jesus. So no Sergio Aguero, which is good. Phil Fodden's on the bench. I like that. Let's get into the game. Let's see how we get on. They've started fantastically. We need a really, really avoid the draws but I'd rather, I think I would take a draw in this one first highlight of the game it's Manchester City on the attack deep in our half Kyle Walker picks up the loose ball from the clearance and Rodrigo keeps the ball alive ball's played over the top for Gundogan he's in he's at the byline do not foul him foul him we should have fouled him I told them but they didn't listen Bernardo Silva's second goal of the season puts Manchester City 1-0 up 25 minutes in we haven't really been at the races going by the match stats and uh, this could be a very difficult game. Right, we get ourselves a highlight. Wambasaka with a throw in deep in Manchester City's half. Benton Kerr picks up the ball after the clearance. Pogba got the overlap from Tellers there. He cuts inside. He goes for goal. Alex Tellers, what a goal that is. It will bomb on forward left back. He does love to contribute to the attacking player, even if it hasn't resulted in too many goals and assists this season. But he has been absolutely phenomenal in that spot for us. Benton Kerr doing well to pick up the ball. Pogba spots the run of Alex Tellers, feeds it through the defence, and he does extremely well to get past his man and beat Edison in goal one all. Another highlight now, 39 minutes in. We have ourselves a free kick right on the edge of the 18-yard box. Bruno Fernandes goes for goal. Uh, 
do not tell me that was the highlight. There should be something else coming up here. Mason Greenwood nods on the throw in from Wamba Saka. The ball's played in. Rashford to Paul Pogba. What a save, Greenwood. Oh my God, Mason Greenwood. How have you not put that in the back of the net? Edison is so fortunate. We should be 2 1 up. Expected goals, 0.54. There should be about 10 for that Mason Greenwood chance. Man United won, Man City won half time. We've massively came back into this ever since they scored. I'm telling them I'm not happy. Um, they motivated them a little bit, so we'll take that. We'll see how the second half goes. Another highlight now, Laporte with a big punt up over the top. Thankfully, Harry Maguire brings it down well and we can play it out from the back. Rashford cuts inside from that left-hand side. He gets stopped, but he picks back the ball of Paul Pogba to Benton Kerr. We've got Alex Tellers in loads of space, but he finds Cavani through the middle. And Edinson Cavani does not miss those opportunities, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to drop our line. <laughs> drop the line. We'll not play the offside trap anymore. We'll just keep things as they are. We're still on the attacking team mentality. And to be quite honest with you, every time I've maybe went balanced or positive, it's just invited so much pressure that... It, I'd feel like I'm going to stick with it for now. Bruno Fernandes with a lovely little through ball and Cavani. He's very, very good. I didn't expect to be playing him this season, to be quite honest with you, with his age and the sort of youngsters we've got. But I just can't not when he's scoring all the time. Another highlight now, 64 minutes in. We've got the ball in the defensive areas. Just don't lose it. It's been a good 20 seconds and I feel like we're going to lose it. Thankfully, Marcus Rashford picks up the ball. Lovely through ball for Cavani. Edison comes out and deals with it well. Alex Tellers, though, can keep the pressure on. Marcus Rashford, can he get past his mad? Cavani's there. Edison Cavani, I tell you what, 15th goal of the season. He is absolutely phenomenal. Maybe he might earn himself a new contract. Uh, I think there will be a second season of this save, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I am on the lookout for other strikers to replace him when he does eventually leave. But in this sort of form, can I justify letting him go? He is, fun. he is superb on this game. With 20 minutes to go, we're going to make our changes here. Bruno Fernandes, he's been struggling for fitness because he's played so many games, so we're going to get him off. The same with Benton Kerr. Uh, we'll bring on Scott McTominay for him and move. Uh, what we're going to do, Donny van den Beek can go in the centre of midfield. Paul Pogba can go in attack and midfield. And then Scott McTominay can become our ball-winning midfielder in the centre of the park. With only a few minutes left, we'll make our final substitute as well. Paul Pogba... Can come off for Anthony Martial. We'll put Anthony Martial on the left-hand side and Marcus Rashford in behind the striker. And this is an absolutely phenomenal win. Man City have been great so far this season, but I think it's fair to say we've thoroughly deserved the victory in this game. We tore them apart a couple of times. Cavani is an absolute legend and we get ourselves a 3-1 victory and three points. Bring on Chelsea. Come on, boys. In between the two matches, we have our Champions League first knockout round group draw. We'll click on automatic draw and see who we get. i try to think back to the teams that finished second. Um, I'm pretty sure. Who do we want? Salzburg, please. That will be absolutely phenomenal. Man City in there, Chelsea, Real Madrid, who have been drawn so far. Ajax, did they finish top of their group? I don't think they did. So, Atletico Madrid are going to face Atlanta. Come on, Link McMarcy, I'll take Marcia. Barcelona's got them. We've still got the chance of getting Salzburg. Come on, draw us now. Yes, we've probably got the best draw that we could possibly have gotten. And that will hopefully mean we can get through to the last uh, 16, 8, whatever. So a couple of tasty ties there, particularly the first two. Man City, Inter, Chelsea, Real Madrid. Uh, you would expect PSG to beat Ajax. Atletico Madrid, Atlanta could be interesting. Barcelona probably go through. UV versus Liverpool is huge. I prefer UV to win. We've already proven that we can beat them. And Lazio and Benfica completing the draw. So for our lineup against Chelsea, it remains pretty much unchanged. Unfortunately, Kingsley Coleman is still injured. Mason Greenwood's on the edge of getting dropped. Uh, Dan James actually played pretty well when I played him. So I was thinking of maybe making that change. But I want to give him... Uh, he's on heavy match. Well, actually, I'm going to start Dan James. Let's see how he can perform. Uh, he's not as good as Mason Greenwood. And he hasn't got the potential, but I'm more interested in performances right now. So unchanged from last game, apart from that. Let's get into it and see how we get on against Chelsea. As I mentioned earlier, that did start very well. We were the only unbeaten teams for quite a while, um, but they've lost a couple in the past five games. And so still a fantastic side. No major changes to signings, as I can see. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. So it's a snowy pitch at uh, Chelsea's Stamford Bridge. So 
let's see how the conditions affect the performances. Hopefully it doesn't really affect it at all. And we have our first highlight almost immediately. It's Mason Mount with the corner for Chelsea. We do get a clear, but Kovacic is going to get there first. Cantier, lovely through ball for Havertz. He knocks it through to Timo Werner. And he has 18 goals this season. He is a little bit ridiculous. And we go 1-0 down very early on against Chelsea. A well-worked goal. Um, I do not want to watch the replay. I'm not interested. Let's move on and don't be 2-0. Come on. We've just beat Man City 3-1. Really competed with them well. Cantier gets past Bruno Fernandes. He's in the box. Back to Aspi. Havertz goes wide. I think we're going to have to change something here. It is currently all Chelsea. Every single highlight. Cantier. Lovely through ball for Mason Mount down that left-hand side. He's got a couple of options in the box. Timo Werner's won and David De Gea with an absolutely beautiful save. So we've made a couple of tactical tweaks, changed some of the opposition instructions and dropped our lines from uh, and took off offside trap as well. I don't think it's going to do us too well against Timo Werner up front. Highlight corner for us. Alex Tellers plays it in. Harry Maguire rises but doesn't get past the Chelsea defender. Comes back out to Tellers. Luis Felipe, do not give the ball away now. We would be in all sorts of trouble. Dan James picks up the ball on the right-hand side, gets past one. Can he get past two? He gets tucked down in the box, and that is apparently what you're consulting VAR for. There is absolutely no need. And Dan James could prove to be the difference maker in this game. The penalty has been awarded. Bruno Fernandes will be the man who steps up to take it. Can he beat? Is it Mendy in goal? He can't. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he's let us down. He's got the corner. It's not going to lead to anything. Um, Rashford heads over. I've just got a bad feeling about this game. Maybe it might be the missed penalty, but I've just got a very, very bad feeling. Pogba wins the ball in the midfield, feeds it into Dan James. He beats him with his electric pace. He goes for goal. Daniel James. <laughs> Could he be the man to save us? Dan James wins the penalty and then finally gets the equaliser with his fourth goal of the season. And he's only played... I think like twice. So he's doing extremely, extremely well. It was great play by Pogba to win the ball in the midfield. Nice through ball for Dan James, but he had a lot of work to do. And that is a superb finish. 1-1. We have ourselves another highlight, boys. It's Bruno Fernandes stepping over the free kick. He's going to go for goal from this sort of distance. He goes for it. Mendy with another big save. I could really do without the draw. I really want the win. We need to keep the pressure up on. It's pretty much Liverpool and Man City. Oh, Mason Mount picks up the ball on the left-hand side. He's got wan Saka for company. Excellent, excellent defending. That's exactly what you want from wan Saka. We know what he's good at, and it's them sort of positions. Bruno Fernandes feeds the ball in through Edinson Cavani, and you wouldn't expect that from Cavani. That is dreadful. Half-time, Chelsea won, Man, C uh, Man United won. A pretty, even, <laughs> pretty, a very even game, all things told. We should be 2-1 up. Bruno Fernandes really letting us down. But let's kick off for the second half. I'm happy with how things have gone since we made the changes to our tactic. Let's see how things continue to go in this second half. Maguire and Tellez playing beautifully with it in the defence. Rashford, lovely through ball for Cavani. Can't miss this one. And he certainly doesn't miss this one. Edinson Cavani, 16th goal of the season. We don't need Timo Werner. We've got Edinson Cavani. What a guy he is. Lovely through ball by Marcus Rashford. I thought he was going to lose the ball. In the uh, centre of the park here, as you can see, get does get challenged, but he does end up with the pass and a nice little finish. Mendy's been a little bit of a problem in goal for us, but we'll beat him twice now, 2-1. And as you could see, a win in this game would see us rise to the top of the Premier League. Liverpool must have dropped some points as well. Uh, Man City obviously getting beat by ourselves. This will be just a great way to finish off this episode, to finish on top of the table, if we can hold on. Bruno Fernandes is struggling out there. I think we'll get Donny van den Beek on for him and we'll get Anthony Martial out on that left-hand side for Marcus Rashford. Time is ticking away. Absolutely pretty much no highlights in the second half apart from the goal. And I will absolutely take this all day long. Chelsea 1, Manchester United 2. A fantastic game um, and an absolutely fantastic win. Two wins against two of the biggest teams in the league. Oh, Manchester City won their game in hand so we don't actually go top of the table but we do go in second and we'll be level on points with them if we do win that game in hand. Manchester United enjoying life with Williams. 15 victories, victories in the past 20 games. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the draws are the problem. Four draws, but still zero defeats in any competitions, which is exactly what you need to be seeing. And we're just loving life with Man United right now. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. 
We've got two massive games coming up next in Liverpool and Arsenal, but I'm not going to show you them. I'm going to play through to Tottenham and Leeds, potentially away from home, two big games against rivals in the league. And uh, we'll re be able to review any January transfer business we've done. We have got a lot more money than we did initially. £36 million to spend. I'll be looking at a right back in particular to provide competition for Juan Bissaka. Maybe even a striker to provide competition for Cavani with Anthony Martial and Rashford fighting it out for that left-hand side. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe a good couple of youngsters might come in just to please our board. They obviously want us to sign all the players under the age of 22 for the future. But anyway, lads, just leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and until next time, take it easy.